Happening here, all you bookworms out there, find yourself a comfy corner. The Rhode Island Festival of Children's Books and Authors is taking place in Providence tomorrow. Now here to tell us all about this page turner of an event are the Director of Marketing and Communications for Lincoln School, Ashley Rappa, and author of Monster Trucks and Bacon Day at Grandma's, she was on our show before, children's book <laughs> author, Annika Denise. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. What an exciting event. I, I still love children's books. I think everyone has like a fond memory of some of their favorite books as kids. They're so light, they're easy to read, you can kind of fly through a bunch of them, and this event is perfect for that. It's so great, it's so great. It's just a wonderful fall day. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you have kids, it's a great time to show up. There's food trucks, face painting, temporary tattoos. You can come just enjoy the beautiful weather and enjoy your favorite books. Yeah, a lot of books can... Uh can these books be purchased at the event to take home? Uh, that's a great question. I think we're encouraging people to bring their own books so you can get up to three signed by the authors, which is really exciting. They're doing great presentations so you can interact with them too. Mm -hmm. And you are one of the authors. I am. What is it like for you to, to go to an event like this and really have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with people, right? You know, you can read blogs and you see people's comments saying, I loved this book, it was great, but to meet them in person must be awesome. It's fantastic. I love meeting readers, and this is a chance, a full day of doing it. Not only the presentations, but, you know, at the signing tables, and you have little kids come up clutching your book and telling you how much it means to them. So it's, it's a wonderful day for the authors and the community. And really for the family, kids of all ages, you have something for them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I have a toddler. I have a 19-month-old and I'm bringing him, but we know that there are seniors at Lincoln School where it's hosted that are coming as well. So it's really, you don't, you don't have to have a kid to come and have fun. These are some of the books, uh, excuse me, books by the authors that mm -hmm. will be in attendance there tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, take us through some of them. Sure. Do you want to start with you? Sure. I think we should definitely <laughs> highlight like Amber's books. Um, this is a new release for me. It's Monster Trucks. It, perfect for this time of year. Perfect <laughs> Halloween title or for any time of year for those little kids that love trucks, which, mm -hmm. you know, there's a big <laughs> tr <laughs> truck loving contingent. And um, I'll go, I'll just hop back here. This is, my husband's an illustrator and he will be there as well. Yes, this authors is, and illustrators. Yes, yes. The, this is Lucy's Lovey. This is brand new, just out about a little girl and her favorite um, little doll. It's so sweet. So we sweet. love that. I think I've actually met your husband before and saw some He's drawings of yeah. these <laughs> yeah. kind of in the work. So yeah. really cool to see them That's all right. come together. That right. And what are some of these others that we have here? Well, that's the old favorite, the Polar Express by and Chris Van Allsburg. It's its 30th anniversary, which is really exciting. This is a big that. year for Polar it's Express. A big year. It is. And again, this and Monster Trucks is yeah. kind of on everyone's mind right now. Over here, this great book, Finding Winnie. It's actually a Caldecott Award winner for illustration. It's a, the true story of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, how sweet. It's We've really never lovely. heard that it's before. It's a great book. And, and so one. many others, too. I'm, I'm noticing maybe even some for teens, the yeah. little thicker books And there. this author, Elizabeth Wing, is actually coming all the way from Scotland to join us. Well, that's International event. Amazing. <laughs> and like you said, it's an opportunity to meet people like her that are Absolutely. coming in from all over to interact with them. Thank you all so much Thank for you. being here. Thank you. It sounds like a great event. The Rhode Island uh, Festival of Children's Books and Authors takes place at Lincoln School. It's only five dollars to go, $5. right? And really, it caps at twenty-five. Really so inexpensive. It happens in Providence tomorrow. To share this segment information with a book lover you know, go to roadshow.com.